Greetings! I've made about 70 videos on Westboro Baptist Church now. Why the fascination? Why so many videos on Westboro Baptist Church? Despite what many people think, it's not just because I'm a supporter of Westboro Baptist Church. The truth is much more complicated than that. I don't consider myself a supporter per se. As I was going home from work today, I wrote down a number of the reasons why I have created so many videos on Westboro Baptist Church, and I've thought so much about that church in recent times. It's a layer of meanings. It's not just one, it's not just two, it's tons of reasons. I like to look for layers and levels in so much. I like to go to the greatest depths of something. Thus, I do that with Westboro Baptist Church. One reason I am so fascinated with Westboro Baptist Church is because I like to root for the underdog. They are surely one of the biggest underdogs out there. Another, another big reason is I'm seeking understanding. Stephen Covey says, seek first to understand, then to be understood. I like to understand different social and political groups, religious groups as well. Westboro Baptist Church is one of all three. I've been looking at a variety of groups since I've been quite young, like 14 years of age, and now I'm 32. It's also fascinating in and of itself. It's a pure form of hate. Plato talked about the forms, and rarely do you find pure forms in the world. But with Westboro Baptist, it's pure hate, and that is very interesting. One of the biggest reasons I'm into looking at Westboro Baptist Church is because I learn a lot about myself. I dig and dig into my subconscious in order to achieve my goals. And in the process, my subconscious led me to Westboro Baptist Church. I've learned so much about how to handle things, how to do things. Westboro Baptist Church has taught me a lot. I looked at all they do, and I find out how to be more effective. It is exactly the wrong way to do things. The Buddhists call this the universal mirror. What you don't like in the world is a reflection of yourself. Thus, I see Westboro Baptist Church as a way to improve myself. I've done some of the same things they have done in the past, and I've created a video series called I Used to Be Like Fred Phelps. Now, I certainly have my differences, but I did come off sometimes in that way. Certainly, one reason is visual pleasure. They have attractive women, and that's neat to look at. There are actually some things I do admire about the church. They do some things interesting. They are very gutsy, and they are sometimes in the right. Certainly, their opponents come off worse than them in many cases. I find them very creative. Or another thing, I like to see how creative they can be. They have a lot of creative ideas, though they are merged with hate. One thing that really stands out is their uniqueness. There's no other group like them. There are other fundamentals, to be sure. There are other picketers and protesters, to be sure. But no one is like them. And also, in some ways, it's extreme absurdity. I can't believe there's actually people that go to funerals and picket. Another reason I look at them is because freedom of expression. I'm a big proponent of freedom of expression as much as possible. That is one thing I like to see in this country, and I don't want it to be taken away, and they represent freedom of expression. After all, their picketing is now going to go to the Supreme Court. Can they do it or can they not? Let's hope they can. Additionally, it's iconoclasm. I'd like to see that. I have made a video about their iconoclasm. Iconoclasm is a good thing. They challenge convention, they challenge figures in authority, they challenge our sacred ideas. That's good. Unfortunately, it's merged with hate. So you don't want to throw out the baby with the bathwater. They can do some good things while doing it bad with other things. Thus, I like to see the good and not have to accept the bad. So many other people just see the bad and think, see one bad and it's entirely bad. I don't like to look at it that simply. Interestingly, I also seek to make a difference. Hopefully I can influence some people. Hopefully, I can present the idea of self-actualization through my examples, through my thoughts, through the way I live my life, and inspire people 
that one book written about Westboro Baptist Church, a book against them called Addicted Hate, was saying how Fred Phelps stole self actualization from his sons and daughters. Now, that was written before the current generation, the third generation, became real big, and you see them a lot these days in the forefront. And I would, it would be great if they were achieving their self actualization. Maybe they're not achieving their self actualization in the church. Maybe they need to go out. If they're not achieving their self actualization, that is a serious thing. And they're not living the best possible life. So it would be great to have some sort of influence on that. Westboro Baptist Church is truly like nothing else. And that are, is why I look at it. There are so many intriguing, fascinating levels and layers to it. And it's not just one thing like 95% of the people look at Westboro Baptist Church see.